Let's continue New Horizons if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. And a new neighbor today, too. Hope you're giving lots of great advice about living here. Now then, I have one more bit of important news to wrap up. So wonderful to see the enthusiasm for island life. Our population is certainly growing, hmm? Shamblonia is becoming a rather bustling place. Yes, yes. Our goal, as always, is to provide you with the top quality support you deserve. Also, notes. Resident services will relocate from its current tenant into a more permanent building. It's a big move and construction will take some time, so we will be close tomorrow. Please check on lost items at the recycle box or use the Nook stop today while it's available. Yes, yes. Okay. All my new residents should be here. Pretty sure. <laughs> that advice about the toilet or what? I'm sad and many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can, and it's easy as falling asleep in your bed. I heard about the new room. Congrats. You wouldn't happen to need a room rate, would you? Ha. Huh. Just kidding. Maybe. Anyway, I got you a little room warming gift. It ain't much, but I hope you'll dig it. Frank B. stuff. Okay. I think I need to store more furniture. Oh. Actually, I have a kitchen now. I guess all this goes in this room now. Same thing. I'm still gonna have floor. Sturdy poster. Oh. Yeah. That's a sturdy post, I'm not sturdy. Oh, what the hell? I've never seen that before. More on this in a minute.
Alright. What else have we got? Not really a whole lot I can do here. Yes. <laughs> well, if I want to eat directly out of the rice cooker. So what is this? This bed? I've never seen it before. I'll probably get Nook Miles for this. I've never seen this before. Could have been during a period where I stopped playing. Welcome. Wow. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you're from Shambloni. You must be the famous well. Good guess. Hmm. Few dreams as pleasantly as those from Shambloni. Forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Think of me as your guide to the Library of Dreams. Library of Dreams? A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload it to the internet. My role is to ferry travelers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you've actually set foot on their island. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another dream merely to say to me, I want a dream. This need not be a one-way matter either. If you wish, I can collect your dream of Shamblonia as well. And I will spirit your dream through the channels of fiber optics to live in the library and be shared with the world. Put simply, to share your dream of Shamblonia with others. Tell me, I'd like to share a dream. Well now, that we have introductions out of the way. Interesting. There are a few things I must clarify before I guide you to dream. Dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. Connection, of course, is required. To wish to dream of a specific island, there are many ways to do so. You may either provide me with the dream address, or you simply tell me its name. Tell me, would you prefer to be surprised, or be too happy to choose a dream for you? Oh, and one wrinkle. Dreams are very fragile things. To prevent the introduction of glitches, you must go empty-handed. Do not worry, I'll hold on to your belongings and return them after you wake. I believe that covers everything. Okay. Sure. Roll the dice. I'm gonna get someone's. I like how this usually looks. I shall I prepare your dream. Surprise me. There are so many wonderful surprises to be found in dreams. Let me find one for you. I'm ready. Everything is now sorted. Please close your eyes. And relax. Drift and compile and emerge. The dream of Bluebell. I mean, 
I won't be able to fish or anything, I don't think. This is just purely to view people's islands, decorations, all that sort of thing. But, I mean, if the first trip is going to get me some knock miles, why not? Oh, no kidding. Now open your eyes. You are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Bluebell. When you wish to awaken from this dream, you need only lie down in this bed. I'll take care of the rest. Also, should you have any questions or need advice about dreams, please do not hesitate to ask. And with that, may your dream of Bluebells be a sweet one. Wow. Very detailed. I mean, some of these are custom paths, stuff that I will browse eventually. A castle? It's pretty neat. I don't know if I'll go to that extent. So this is another texture thing. Shells, that's nice. Yeah, no tools allowed. Ten. Oh, this must be the person who made it. Love. I mean, this is neat. <laughs> I recognize you. Lots of flowers here. Pretty neat looking, this island. Okay. How do I wake up? Clear the dream, you'll simply lie down in this bed. Okay. What? what? Why is this here? Oh. I'm good. Wake up. When you open your eyes, you'll be in your bed and I'll be gone. That's a cool idea. I'm glad it was a nice looking random island. <laughs> ah, no nook miles for it. That would have been nice. Oh well. I wonder when they added that in. I 
don't remember this being a thing, but it's probably in the time period where I stopped playing it. Hey, Mrs. Ham, hello from Summerland. Is it still hot? Okay, well, all the new villagers are here today, so. Oh, yeah. Is that house off by one? Hey, we're all already here for a visit. Unpacking this unpacking this stuff is going to take me all day, so can you please come back tomorrow? We live in the same island now, so we'll be able to play every day. I'm so excited. Summer all week, jeez. Uh, I'm alright. Kicking back, a bit tired. Monday is one of my longer work days. Shit, it's off by one. You can't tell, but it is off by one. So eventually, I'll push this back one tile. Uh, Try to measure it and everything. Oh, Alice is here. I was inspired to move here after the last time we ran into each other. The other islanders I've met so far have been great to me, so I feel like I'm in the right place. It's good to know you'll be nearby. Did I start a new game? Yeah, because I got a new Switch, so the old island... There's no cloud save on it. But also people wanted me to play this again, so... I don't know to what extent I'll play it, but... At the very least, for now. Why did I get a new one? Because the old one is old. It's like a day one switch, the battery doesn't last. Thing was like approaching seven, well, six years old. Almost seven. I'd seen better days. And I had gift vouchers, so I didn't really know what else to use the gift vouchers on. So I got the OLED model. The OLED model is pretty nice. know what to do with them, so. Instead of them expiring, I just used it to get a, an upgrade on the Switch. Didn't I get rid of this rock? I swear I got rid of that rock. I was worried that I'd announce new Switch, but it looks like it'll probably be fine. I'll have had this thing for like two years by the time that thing comes out. the original Switch for your 27th birthday. So, did you get it when it came out? 
2017. Yeah, yeah, so yours would be like as old as mine was. I got mine first day that thing came out. Just when I tried to play a handheld mode, the battery just would not last, so. You could spend money replacing the battery or just, yeah, get this one. The screen really does make a difference. Really? Yeah, it's all lead. Screen is bigger, screen is brighter, and loot uses less energy. And like, the color black is more darker, if that makes sense. Like the color black under an LCD screen that's got a white glow to it. Should you get one? No. Purely because the new Switch is probably imminent. Within the next six months they're gonna announce the new Switch. I'm gonna predict that. Unless you don't plan on getting the new Switch. But I would say, given the rumors of it, it's probably better to get the new Switch. Excited about the Tomb Raider remakes. Oh yeah, I saw that they were getting remade. It's part of that direct they did. But they announced a lot of good stuff. Pretty much me wouldn't they announce the remake of Thousand Year Door. I've been wanting to play that game for ages. People keep telling me to play it, but it's so damn expensive to get it on GameCube. I was already happy with Mario RPG, and now that is getting remade too. Good morning, Frox Trot. Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. I wonder if I can look for more villages. How many fossils do I have? I need one more. What I did notice is that there's a lot of stuff coming out around the same time next year. Not sure if that's going to have any reflection on when the new console gets announced. Is my character a true reflection of my style? No. I have very limited clothes right now. I think this is the t-shirt they gave me at the start. Or oh, shirt, I should say. I was... What was I wearing? I was wearing like a Power Ranger outfit. I just ch change the clothes every day, no matter how ridiculous it might look. I don't represent myself by playing this and dressing myself a certain way. What about my character? I mean, it's, it's a Nintendo me. 
that's you can't exactly get detailed with it. Hair color, that's about it. I did the wrong one. Too late. I was gonna do put away, but then drop. Barry was the first option. Not even eyes. I mean, my eyes. I don't know. They're a dark brown, but they're not black. But then the brown they have, it's not brown. I picked the nearest option, but it's not accurate. It never will be. That reminds me, I gotta change into something else. But they're not selling clothes. Okay, I'll store these and sell the rest. I don't think I have much. Yeah, I'm pretty limited in terms of what I can wear. Sure. It's different. That's a wardrobe, yeah. I mean, it's like the start of the game. Choices are limited. They don't sell clothes. The only thing I have is, like, the warrior outfit. I'll go with it. It's fine. As long as I look different. one of the big ones. Pick up leathers. For new ones. <laughs> I 
I read that as a pretzel. Don't know why. Quetzel. Alright, bladders, lay it on me. The Quetzal... what? The Quetzal Coatless? <sighs> Where is Google Translate text-to-speech? Hold on. Just... It just translate English into English and then it reads it. That's fine. What the hell was English? Ah, there. Okay, so it's... Ah, it's doing this thing where it's like trying to automatically detect language. Stop. No, just... Okay. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus? Jeez. Quetzalcoatlus. Alright. Sure. Got it. I had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. While it no doubtedly soared magnificently, we now know that it also crawled on all fours. It's a bit disappointing, really. This illustrious sky god scrabbling on the ground like a common beetle. They say you should never meet your heroes. And that is what I have to say about that. Oh hey, no thanks for the right. Your capture card died. What capture card did you have? Was it an Elgato? Because I, I had some problems with mine just before. Ava Media, okay. Oh, well, that, that sucks. I've had good things about Ava Media, just can't find them easily in Australia, or at least when I bought my capture card. I think now they sell them. So if I do ever replace the Elgato, it'll probably be that, because Elgato just has too many random issues. I forgot to donate the other stuff. Plesio. Plesio. Alright. Ah, yes, the Plesiosaurus is a classic of the ancient reptile world. That long, graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump turtle like body make for a striking silhouette. Incidentally, despite the Saurus name, it wasn't actually a dinosaur. Common error, her what? But they were surely a majestic sight swimming in those ancient seas, like a long duck long neck rubber ducky. I'm just glad that all the four that I found today are unique. I've had some very bad luck. I think I've read the T-Rex one before. I'd say the T-Rex is the 800 pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it is it likely weighed over 9 tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. At up to 42 feet long with banana sized teeth, it was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, since estimates vary wildly. I'm just relieved I will never have to escape on who. Okay. It mentioned T-Rex, but I hadn't read it. Okay. 
Ankylosaurus was the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, the vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Between its club-like tail, heavy armor, and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Can you keep a secret? I've even heard recent theories that it actively attacked predators. Can you imagine such behavior in a herbivore? It simply beggars the imagination. Okay, what's up? I'll have to look up how flowers work in this again. Just the arrangement you have to make to get certain colors. Oh, that's a very tacky knife set. That's, that's like a Kmart knife set right there. buy it anyway just so the shop gets closer to upgrade it's pretty much how you get it up to speed maybe with the customization I can make it non-colorful the 5,000. Damn it. <laughs> now the cell one came up. What's the most amount of bells I ever had? I'd have to look on my other file. I know it was like hundreds of millions. It was to the point where it was just money made no no real sense anymore at that point. Oh, you're here. Yum yum yum. Uh, I don't care if it's me turn to man the hell. Me nap time is me nap time. <laughs> if I even find a single raisin in these cookies, I'll kill all the lot of ye. I might make an easy thumbnail, actually. Then I don't have to worry about the YouTube thumbnail later. Alright. Cool. I like that. That'll do. Such a storm. This is it, mateys. We're headed for Davy Jones' shoe cubby. Yeah. Nah. Ah, this buffet may be the end of me, lads, but I think I can tamp a bit more peach cobbler down me gullet. Avast, where did the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do you even know who ye be messing with? I be Captain Gulliver, legendary pirate, feared of for all manner of dreadful gullduggery. Arr. Now where is the cruel matey who burst me buffet bubble? Was it ye? Ah, you don't look very cruel. I suppose you did me a favor. I might have gobbled up this whole beach. Ah, aye. You saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise. Begging your pardon for me sleepy confusion. Arr. Ugh. But I do have a powerful ache in Minogan. I was partaking a bit of good the good soda with me crew, but I tumbled over the prow and into the sea. Tis not but a mild inconvenience, though. 
Will we be living in the age of gadgetry, gadgety miracles? Jeez. I've got me treasure that can summon the ship day or night. See your shore. So as long as I've got me trusty old communicator, I'll just be a... Uh... Oh me gosh! Me trusty communicator has gone and vanished. Arr! Those waves brought me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of me pocket. That means I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take a bit of time. I'm still workshopping me pirate puns, so those are sure to run out fast. Uh... Ahoy! You with the whale-sized noggin, will you help me? St <laughs> you with the whale-sized noggin? Will you help me a stranded seabird find his lost communicator? Sure. Ah, you means it. Now there's a shanty deserving of a jig. Me God says me communicator is in a nearby ocean. Me crew is surely searching for me, so I should keep a lookout. Got to be on land for that, you savvy? That means it's up to you to swim about and find me communicator. I'm counting on you, matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before ye hunt. Else you be blundering for your plundering. I was disappointed when I saw this bird for the first time. I thought it was going to be a different activity, but it's the same thing, just in the ocean. Okay, I'm going to go put away the items. That sounded dirty, real dirty. Dial up dirty? What sounded dirty? I don't, I don't even remember what I said. like done with work at nine o'clock at night so brain is not not in the right place right now whale sized noggin how 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 would that be dirty noggin i mean unless you're saying whale sized head which i guess Maybe my mind's just not in the in the trash heap today. It sounded like a line from a Kindle smart book. <laughs> Yes, the art of seduction. Take me now with ye whale-sized noggin. And thrust upon my barnacles. See? What I said made zero sense, but I'm sure you can make it dirty. These are extras, I don't need them. Some have written that poorly. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Hey, Will. I'm going around Chamblonia saying hi to everyone. I have to get my brand out there, you know? Let the people know a future pop star walks among them. Hold up, I just remembered. I called out to you because I have something to give you. So, here you go. Just a chic little souvenir I brought from my last side. And check it, a sandcastle. I just had this, had this feeling those might be your thing. And now... They get to be Shambolonia's thing, too. This is actually very nice. I'm, like, so happy I got someone like you around to do stuff for me, Foxtrot. What do you mean, do stuff for you? Wait. D hold on. I did not agree to this. Okay, but no, that's honestly very nice. Unfortunately, the color is off, but whatever. Like, they had one job, just get the detail correct to make the color line up, but... I thought... It's fine. 
I mean, I guess the writing in the smut book doesn't matter as long as the smut is good, right? I don't know. It actually goes well to go. Language skills have to be up there. Why? As long as that's possible. Like, you don't want it to be too eloquent, do you? Like, I can't imagine Shakespearean smart would be... Would be like, you know, the pinnacle of smart. Because it's written in a manner that's, I guess, considered good. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, crap, there's a balloon in the horizon. You want to see if you can find a poor one. Just, you just have that stuff ready, huh? Probably customize the slingshot so it doesn't break. Tricycle. Um. Mm, someone, someone park their tricycle in front of the museum. I'm not going to stress about decorating too much yet. Not until I get the pro designer thing that lets me browse online patterns and all that stuff. It'll probably come with the, uh... The building upgrade that's coming tomorrow. Wait, what? Your sign could wait, you thought, could go to hell for all I cared. Suddenly all I wanted to do was watch Gronk do his thang fang in the zone place there. I... I'm trying to comprehend what I just read, but I'm... I don't know if I'm just tired or it was that, like, just... Thang fang? Gronk? Like, are you reading, like, some shitty Emperor's New Groove knockoff bootleg smut? Grunk, pull the lever! Do the fang fang! Jeez. Bang, bang. Her heart slammed into her ribs as his mouth descended on hers. This is what it must feel to be bro broadsided by a two-ton pickup, she thought inanely. Do people enjoy that, like, that kind of writing? Is this one of these self... Well, okay. 
Is this coming from a real publisher, or is this one of these situations where it's like a self-published book? Because self-publishing is the wild west of writing. Like, is there a publishing house behind that? Don't know how books get published on Kindle. You can get self-publishing, pretty sure. The easiest way to do it is just look up the name of the book and see if it belongs to a publishing house or if it's just a person's name. That's pretty much the easiest way. I mean, based on the caliber of those two paragraphs, I don't know. I would doubt that it's from a publishing house. But then maybe, maybe I just don't know smut in terms of written smut. Written word smut is just something I guess maybe I can't gauge. I'm just not into it. It definitely ain't Penguin Books. I mean, would Penguin Books publish smut? Yeah! Like, could you get Penguin to publish a book if it was a smut book? There's probably stuff on Tumblr that is written better. Yeah! I'm not gonna find these communicator parts, am I? Yeah, scallop. Okay. It's time for stone otter wisdom. Hey man, about that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Sure. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were so cool, I, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. I love birthday cake, but why stop there? Some Tuesday cake would hit the spot once or twice a week. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. Thank you, Stoner Otter. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what, is, what do you think he does with those scallops? Yeah! Oh, cool, that's gonna sell. I would assume eat them, but you never know. This one 
it's difficult. Wow, this is giving me a hard time. Okay, I need to sneak up on it. I'm not gonna catch it. Oh, it's annoying. Nah, stop. Patience. This thing's annoying. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. This is a new one. Red King Crab. It's royally flushed. Alright, I gotta donate it, unfortunately. It'd be worth money. Wait, do you find parts of the whole thing? Oh, no, you find the... Okay. I thought you found parts. You find the communicator on its own, so I'm already done with the communicator thing. If you follow him, you can see him face. What? Devours the little ones. I'd be happy if I got a second one. Oh no, I'm not gonna catch up. This is the second one. What? Did it... Am I losing my mind? Okay, I'm not tracking the bubbles co correctly, clearly. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Get it! Come here! Got it. Oh shit. Alright, that's another one. Spider crab, water bugs can rest easy. Alright. It's a shame because I can't donate. <laughs> I have to donate, I can't sell. It'd be worth a lot. But I guess that's the two rare ones. You know, sometimes when you join a chat, it shows the last couple of messages chat was sending. Imagine you join a chat and then the last thing is like, not as finely written as OnlyFans smart. What do you, what do you even say to that?
doing well cleaning day. Have fun. I am tired. Today is one of my longer work days, so... I'm just kicking back. For some reason, reading very bad erotic writing. Okay, well, look, these, these are worth money. Say that Kindle has some shit books, but Kindle doesn't say no. Like I, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty certain you can self-publish. So it's like any any sort of store or digital store where anyone can put something up there. Like, you have some crazy shit on itch. Hope I get well-deserved rest soon. In two weeks, I have a, the first public holiday. For, like, almost four months. And that's a day off for a football game. So that's the closest. That's it, that's me precious communicator. I thank you with all me heart, matey, with extra cherries on top even. Now I can contact me faithful crew. A vast livey livered sea dogs, tis I, your beloved captain, who makes things happen. I had another bad spill, so you best change course and come pick me up. Here be me coordinates. Be quick about it, or I'll buckle your swashes for good. So says Captain Gulliver. Arr. Winky face, send. Arr. That ought to put some wind in their sails, and no mistake. You saved me life. That's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll sheep ye a fine reward soon. Expedite it. Arr. Ah, that takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander this here beach and look mean. Here I go. Arr. I like the Gulliver stuff from New Leaf better. learn about crab. Alright, bladders. <laughs> I do so hope to not hyperventilate as I regale you with the spider crab's qualities, but I would be remiss if I did not point out that this the largest crab on Earth looks like a giant spider. Arachnophobia aside, this crab is a magnificent creature, to be sure. Though they can grow up to 12 feet from claw to claw and weigh up to 40 pounds, they are said to be docile. In fact, these gentle giants love to hide, attaching seaweed and sponges to their shell as camouflage. My feathers, if I could only see unsee the spider in spider crab, I'm sure I'd find it charming as can be. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? And then the other giant crab that I sadly have to sell. The Red King Crab. Okay. The Red King Crab is a mighty crustacean, to be sure. Though it must be said that there is some debate about its royal lineage. King crabs, unlike other crabs, are thought to be descended from hermit crabs, you see. And have you noticed? Ugh. They have but eight legs, though conventional crabs have ten. It matters not, for the red king crab is as regal as can be. 
Weighing up to 20 pounds off a leg span, reaching 5 feet, I bow to this crab's nobility. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? No, I'm good. My pirate voice is probably horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I hate reading anything that's old English style. I don't know, I just, I just can't process how it's intended to be read. Why do I have- oh, wait, mermaid? Oh! That's a gift I got from, uh, Stoner Otter. What, what are mermaid shoes? Uh... I, I guess? <laughs> Sure, why not? These are mermaid shoes. I guess it completes the outfit. It's... It's color-coordinated. Same sort of green. I think that's everything for the morning, Don. Alright, this tent is closing tomorrow, and then I think after that, that's when I can start getting some of the newer stuff. Well, hello there, Will. Your home now has another room, where once there was none, yes? You can use it for whatever you like. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel, 348,000 pels. Ah, yes. Please make sure your repayments... Please make your repayments using the Nook Stops ABD feature, as you've done before. As always, it's been nice doing business with you, yes, yes. My reading is terrible. It's not even 10 o'clock. Cardboard box, cardboard box. I'll take the cardboard boxes. I think after this, that's when it starts getting the, uh, the larger things. The things you can place around town. That I'll get. That's probably good for beach stuff. Oh, alright. The other thing I should be doing, not that, was. This one. To the I need to start buying music. So that's slowly gonna happen. Um the other thing This is Probably the most useful thing. Not just because it's Mario theme, but it just means teleport somewhere. No, I mean, the other stuff. Whilst nice, I feel like it would be tacky to use it in the design. The pipe! 
I will overlook because it's just, it's useful. Dawn's resident services is up, then I'll focus on customizing the island a bit more. It's so weird that I got this bed again. Except this time it's blue. Uh, I'm guessing the art dude isn't in town. Oh, there's more trees in the background. I would go visit more islands, but it's just, it's not really going to get me anything. It's better to do it once I can get more villagers. Then I can try and find other ones that I like. I might do some mountain fishing. Just go collect a bunch of bait first. I can probably take that off. There we go. Oh, there's a fossil up there. Wait, there's two- what? I thought there was- oh, maybe because I missed the day. <laughs> ah! Dig here. This is how tired I am. Oh, no, yep, good. I missed the spot three times. Ah, uh, it's it's funny. All right, well, I gotta go get a new shovel now. Air balloon. Hello, Bambi SMZ. How's it going? Uh, yeah. No, it's over there. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I got a toilet. Probably not the most hygienic thing in the world. Sure. I'll, uh... I'll take a leak with a view. Oh, I can't move. It's fine. I mean, when when you're when you're lazy, no, I won't, I won't do that. 
you have an assessment tomorrow for hairdressing in your model council at 10 p.m. at night? Damn, that sucks. That's a unnecessary amount of stress out of nowhere. Well, hope it works out. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. You know what? What says more about sports than than this? Go team. Does that no that well eh. how bad does that look? <laughs> it's it's inside the mirror. I'm just trying to be funny. Alright, yeah. Yeah, go team! I know nothing of sports, so I imagine this is this is the setup, you know. You take a piss, you can still see the game through the window. You have towels handy. Um, I guess a pink washing machine, cause sure. Do I know anyone wants a bleach on scalp? Not at this stage. Mainly because I am... I am tired. <laughs> Had a very long day. Honestly, that's gonna be me in two weeks with the public holiday, just... We get a day off because sports. I forgot to get the shovel. The shovel is just... I, can't, I honestly can't remember. I'll just get the usual stuff out. It'll work. September 30 is your day off. You get you get it on the 30th, okay. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I mean, I got the 29th, but I'm probably going to take the 28th as well. Just... Get the extra day off. The last time I had a day off was, uh... June? For the... What do they even call that holiday anymore? <laughs> it's not the Queen's birthday anymore, it's like... The King's birthday, but not birth... I don't know. That, that holiday has always just never made sense to me. Am I losing my mind? Where's the shovel? Oh my god, uh, jeez. <laughs> Technically, yours is the 29th, but they make you work then. Hope you get holiday pay. It depends how it works, because... Oh, man, it's been a while since I've gotten that sort of thing. Because I do, like, a typical 9 to 5 office setup, so I haven't worked a weekend in a very long time. But when I used to... I'm trying to remember... There'd be a public holiday, but then the weekend of the public holiday, you'd still get a little bit more, but not the double. But it's honestly been that long, I, I don't remember properly. 
You miss weekends, yeah. I can't say I would ever go back to working weekends. But, you know, the advantage to working on a public holiday, or at least one where it's different pay, is you get paid more. So as much as it would suck to lose the weekend, at least there's more money in the end. I used to I used to volunteer for public holiday work. I needed the money. Teacher told you you're a beautiful person on Facebook. I didn't know teachers still kept in touch with students. I didn't know people still use Facebook, like... I thought most people bailed Facebook except Insta. Used to get hair models. Ah, fair enough. That makes sense. Blathers, wake up! I want to learn shit. Teach me about the dinosaurs. Oh, damn. Duplicate. I think I've read about the Brachiosaurus. Alright, Blathers. Just say it anyway. Brachiosaurus, whose name means arm lizard. Uh, what? Was one of the largest herbivorous dinosaurs. Due to its long front legs and elongated neck, it seems to have specialized in eating plants up high. Alas, in order to support its large size, it likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. What a ferocious forager it must have been, indeed. Jeez. <laughs> so wait. Just... Permanent state of eating. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of torn as to what to do. Like, either fishing or I need to get wood because I'm almost out of normal wood. And I'm probably gonna want to do stuff once the uh, the town center is up. Isn't there another one there? No? Okay. That's fine. It's okay, I am I am in a weakened state. My eyes are probably seeing shit.
<laughs> Give me some shells. I just want to go fishing. I swear, the moment I start looking for anything, it just disappears off the face of the earth. And then when I don't need it, there's plenty. balloon. Helmet with goggles. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is like... Did I just get... Did I just get like a warrior wear outfit? I don't think I have a denim jacket. have limited clothing. Ah, oh, that sucks. You can't wear them at the same time. It would be perfect. Damn. <laughs> I would have done the voice. Not nah, bad luck. Disappointment. Can't get used to the new warrior voice, it just doesn't sound right. That's not gruff enough. Maybe I just need to hear it more in the in the new game, but the person that's replaced Charles just doesn't have I don't know. Because it's, I get it. It's because it's a helmet and it has the goggles, so the goggles count as the eye or the face wear. Ah. 
thought it was going to be something decent. Both of these. Okay, I see. If it's a helmet, you can't wear gear with it. I mean, now I look like a real tradie. I mean, sorry, construction worker. I, I let an Australian thing out. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about just using normal words. But my brain right now just went, Oh yeah, yeah, pretty good trader, yeah. Yeah, look at the trader going on Smite Guy. What Neo Evil Knievel? Oh, stunt helmet. Didn't Evil Knievel dress up dress up in American stuff? Or am I thinking of someone else? <laughs> I'm a fucking mess right now. Oh, yep, no. That's why Neo, okay. I had only heard of Evil Knievel through TV. I didn't really know much else about the dude. I don't think we have an Australian equivalent. I guess the closest thing to someone being a daredevil would have been, I guess, Steve Owen, but that was less about stunts and more about the dude work with things that could, uh, yeah. Evil Knievel is dead from natural causes or stunt related. Now that's a very morbid question, but <laughs> it matters, sort of. Oh, it's just a sea bass. It's fine. I knew I heard another balloon. I'm not going crazy. Hey. Oh crap, uh, swap it for... Uh... Oh, it's a real- Okay. That, I can put that on the ground. All right, well, that, that'll be a gift at some point. Would be surprised if it was natural cause. Google said he died at age 30. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I know nothing of, of the person. I mean, there may have been an Australian equivalent, but I just never heard of it. Ah, 
Alright, we're gonna be here a while, so just... Kick back, relax, and listen to the sounds of construction for the next five minutes. And hope that whatever game comes next for this, uh, they let you make stuff in batches. be too logical. Quantities and crafting? Get out of here. Am I shambles from Destiny's Discord? No, I'm not. I just go by my name, typically in Discord. The whole stream name thing, just, I rarely use it, outside of just, hey, I have the same URL everywhere. Neo MacGyver? <laughs> you know it's bad? I know who it is, but I don't remember what that guy looks like. I sat there for a sec trying to think. What the hell did MacGyver- I don't- I don't remember. I just knew that that TV show was what, like, the dude would get a, a hairball from a cat, a rubber band, and then, like, a paperclip and would somehow make something that could open a bank vault or some shit. So. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I never watched that, but I know I know of it. What did he look like? Oh, Bambi, thank you so much for the follow and for the prime sub thing. Appreciate it a lot. MacGyver? What did he look like? Okay, well, there's two MacGyvers. There's, like, a remake. Which is not what I'm after. Okay. Oh, he's got a mullet. The dude's got a mullet. That's that's how you know how old this is. <laughs> you know, the crazy thing is, and I can't believe this is a thing, but in Australia, the mullet has come back, and I've seen just teenagers with that shit. I'm like, why? There you go. I thought, that's MacGyver. Like, that's... that haircut's come back here. <laughs> People ask for it in the salon, is true. Yeah, how did that come to be? I mean, I guess they say, like, fashion and design is a bit of, like, a... a circular sort of thing. The things will just come back eventually, but a mullet? Beshes? Yeah, that's fair. Well, I guess it won't be long before whatever I wore as a teenager is going to come back. Just, just you wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still looking at pictures of MacGyver. I'm sorry, it just... Any sort of photo you see of the TV show, it's just so exaggerated. It's, there's like an explosion in the background or something, or like the dude's tied up. Is this going to be like how in, in movies, 
You know, when they try to show anything that's about computer hacking, they just make it the stupidest thing ever. I forget which CSI show it was, but there's a scene that I always think about when it comes to just stupid Hollywood shit. You know, they're being hacked by some professional hacker, so one of them is trying to stop the hack from happening, which is already dumb enough just the way they're doing it. But then, you know, the person's partner is like, let me help. And so there's two of them operating the one keyboard trying to stop the hack. Now, I, I might not be, like, the greatest programmer. My skills lead more into design. But I'm fairly certain two people using a keyboard isn't going to make things go faster. This is what MacGyver just looks like. It just... <laughs> it's just... Dudes wearing sunglasses, explosions everywhere. American flag. Yeah, that's, uh... Okay. That wasn't what I pictured for some reason. I don't know, when, when I thought of MacGyver... I guess I, I just thought of some dude that looked like Russell Brand. I don't know why. I kind of pictured that kind of a person. But I guess a blonde-haired dude with a mullet, that, that checks. Would have been a close second guess. You know what it is? I think I confused MacGyver with Steven Seagal. Because <laughs> that dude's movies... They're old as fuck, but they have that same sort of thing to it, you know? Steven Seagal enters a room and the guy... Well, okay. Dude's in shape, but he's not that much in shape. And... Doesn't matter, there could be seven or eight dudes. He'll take them out within three seconds in the most just ridiculous way I'll watch his movies as a comedy as opposed to an action as their original intent We got any other old TV shows I want to dig up? <laughs> you want to think about it? All right, go for it. We didn't get every American TV show that came out. Sometimes we have something similar, but it would be Australian.
The only other, other one I can think of is like that Texas Ranger, or what was his name? Like the Chuck Norris show. That wasn't the name of the TV show, but that used to air at like 1am or something like that. I don't remember. I wouldn't be able to sleep. I'd try to find something to watch. That shit would be on, and then I'd change the channel and Spongebob would be on at 3 in the morning. Fresh Prince, okay, but I like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I can still remember a lot of that. I haven't seen the remake of it because they turned it into, I guess, more of a serious show, less of a comedy. <laughs> X-Files. That, I, uh, I guess that was never my thing. I never was really into sci-fi back then. Hey, remember this weird cartoon that used to air called The Simpsons? <laughs> I'm kidding. And Beavis and Butthead, that, that was on cable. I think the only MTV cartoon I got to catch was Daria. That was the only one that was on free to air here. That was like when MTV still made TV shows before they went complete reality. Just nothing but reality TV shows. Beverly Hills 902 on Earth. That definitely wouldn't have watched. That was like a soap, wasn't it? Think so? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I, th I thought Baywatch was a real show. You're gonna laugh, but I thought Baywatch was a real show. Like, because in Australia we have a bunch of reality TV shows that are uh, oriented around, like, you know, Border Patrol. There's there's a show about rescue on Bondi Beach. Like a legit show. Involving real people that work these jobs. So I thought Baywatch was like the American equivalent of that shit, and then... It's like, oh no, no, it is, it is not that at all. Because I, I just never looked into Baywatch. I didn't know what it was, and then... 
someone showed me it and I, I laughed. It's just, oh, I see. I see. Knight Rider was real too, but Knight Rider's like well before any of our times. At least I think. I don't think there's anyone over the age of 40 here, right? No, it would have to be like 45, jeez. When did Knight Rider air? That would have been like 80, so you, to remember Knight Rider, you would have to be... You would have to be in your mid-40s right now. 39, yeah, but that's not that's not mid-40s. You wouldn't remember Knight Rider. Hang on. Knight Rider. Oh, okay. Apparently it's spelled with a K. My bad. Yeah, it's from 1982, so to remember that shit, you would have you would have had to have been bare minimum. Like born in 75. To be like seven when that, that was airing. 21 Jump Street? That was a TV show? I thought that was a movie. I'm ready to do fishing on the cliff. A team. Okay, now we're like digging into stuff well before any of our times. They they air reruns of that stuff. Just like um what was that other one? The army one. I forgot what it was. Mash. You have to be over 50 to remember the first Star Wars movie. No, not at all. Like, Star Wars is timeless, I get it. It's... People know about it. Yeah. But I was thinking more along stuff that I guess would remember watching. The first Hulk TV show, I have not seen that. Airwolf? What's Airwolf? The oldest TV show I think I've seen would be Faulty Towers and Cheers, because that's something my dad liked and would watch reruns of that stuff. Oh, you know what? No, because... They had that classic cartoon channel. That aired all those Hanna-Barbera cartoons that are, I guess are from the 60s, so that's probably the oldest. He Man or She Ra? She Ra? What the hell is She Ra? She Ra? She Ra and the Princess of. There's a Netflix. There's a new Netflix series of that. Okay, so it's the T Man equivalent, I guess. man but cooler. Gotcha. Okay, after this I can go fishing on the cliff. Try and get some of the exclusive fish up there. Yeah. 
Shira was He Man's sister. Right? No idea. It's a probably. I'm kind of burnt out on superhero stuff. Just. Marvels. I don't know. You stop googling TV shows. <laughs> Old one. It's fine. Thank you for your effort. I'm surprised you didn't mention Dawson's Creek. I got a military uniform. One last one, Xena. Okay, I know of Xena. TV still exists. It does. In Australia, it's basically cooking shows with reality TV shows and um, dancing competitions and then sports. That's pretty much what it's become. remember the last time I sat down and watched normal TV. Like, all of my stuff comes from streaming services, Twitch, and YouTube. That's, that's it. I only watch sports on TV. What kind of sports do you watch, Messiah? I didn't know you were into sports. Man, that's bad luck. No big fish yet. Ah. I remember during the pandemic, I'd be fishing, people would be visiting my island, and then they would bring me bait so I could get the Oh, what was it? Some fish up here. It's rare. <laughs> Olympics, track and field, marathon, stuff like that. Okay, gotcha. I mean, if Australia gets somewhere in, like, one of the major international events, I'll, I'll, I take interest. But I'm not, like, a sporty person by any means. Like, when the women's team got really far in the World Cup, I took interest in that. I 
as it is the furthest any Australian team has gotten in that. But outside of that, it's just... It's not my thing. Where is the special fish? I need the special fish. <laughs> Just out of a morbid curiosity. Where is it? The sun, isn't it? Okay, I've, the most I've caught in a row without messing up is 19. That... My defense, it is 11 o'clock at night and I've had a very long day. I didn't think to bring a rod. It's fine. Okay. Probably won't break on me anytime soon. What? That's Ugh, it's in an awkward spot. Fierce. You should have learned the player's game, you're not good at it. It's really not a whole lot to it. Just depends if this sort of thing is your thing. Will will teach you everything. No, I won't. <laughs> I mean, okay, to be fair, late, later on, when I get to the decorating aspect, you might pick up some tips. So I'm quite good at that shit. Okay, I put my graphic design skills to use. I don't know the first thing to farming. This isn't really farming. It has elements of a farming game, but it's not quite the same. The intent behind this game originally was that it was designed as this place you could go to every day. The developer intended it to, like, I guess, help against loneliness. And kind of got the idea because he had long commutes on his way to work. Wahoo! 
When it comes to games, I'm, I'm not a very good teacher. <laughs> but if you can learn something by watching me, sure. Oh, I'm out of room anyway. How have I not gotten... It might be... This might be a time of day thing. I might have to check. It's possible that it's later in the evening. We'll go watch Stardew Valley. Go for it. Stardew's great. Looking forward to the next patch. Dude, that makes that game is, is just a machine when it comes to making the game. Kind of looking forward to seeing what that guy makes next. It's probably still a few years away. I saw, I should probably double check if it's all donated. I'm pretty sure it is, but just in the event. Uh, for some reason, I may have sold one and not donated. I can't trust myself when I play this game at night. It's just, yeah. I've missed with my shovel four times in a row. Let's just... Be thorough. Okay, cool. That's all donated. You're fine. Hey, Sandy, how's it going? Yeah. Let me check the fishing thing. Animal costume. Horizons fish. Um. Oh right, it's got this hemisphere thing. Um. We want cliff top. What? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm reading it wrong. Where is September? September is that column. Sorry, chat, give me a sec. There should be cherry salmon up there. There should be char. There should be... No, wait. Cherry salmon is all day. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Okay. Ah, that's what it is. They're all 4 p.m. Um. Okay. Well, I'm going to the dock then. Just woke up. How about me? Um, I just had a long day. That's all. Brain is like on the verge of stopping. I might still play Pokemon today. I gotta, I gotta catch stuff in the Safari Zone, and that's not gonna. It's not gonna require too much brain power. Yeah, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta catch... Tauros... Scyther... And, uh... 
There's one other, but the, the problem is 4% chance of running into it, and then it's just like, well, best of luck. I did get Mew, though, so that ordeal is, is done. Um, yeah, I wanted to do some stuff in this first. Hang on. What a big shadow. That is a big shadow. I love Scyther. Me too. It's one of my more favorite original designs. So wait, so... When I talked about the mullet earlier, is this really just a case of just, it's only coming back in Australia? Mullets. Yeah, I don't think they're a good haircut. <laughs> but they're coming back into fashion here. Ooh, this is a good one. Yes! Caught a tuna. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I gotta donate it, but that's fine. Patience. Another one. Yes. I'm on a roll. Excellent, getting the two big ones. Ah. It's okay. That was probably a sea bass anyway. This, on the other hand... I hate it when they do that. Wow! Oh! Ah, oh, it's a sea bass. and you want. There's still more to be found there. I'm happy that I found Alice again. Hold on. The lawn... I still have some food, but the stack of food ran out. 
All right, blathers, wake up! <laughs> Gotta learn about fish. Blue marlin. What are we gonna learn? The blue marlin has a distinctive angular shape and no scales. It is an unusual relative of the tuna. These mighty fish can exceed 13 feet from bill to tail. Some accounts even have it fighting with whales. No wonder it's a popular target for sports fishing. Unlike most fish, it seems like a worthy opponent. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Yeah, my gratitude. This is undoubtedly a tuna. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your tuna? Go. The tuna is a large ocean fish that can reach upwards of nine feet long. Besides its great size, it's notable for continuing to swim even when it's sleeping. Well, to be fair, if it doesn't keep swimming, it won't be able to breathe, and of course we'll die. But sleep should be restful, eh what? If I were the tuna, I would feel very hard done by. There you have it. Okay. Man. You know, I'm almost positive some of the stuff I would have learnt in school, but... Brain decided to retain different things. Like, did you know that Mr. Mime used to have four fingers and now he has five? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck the tuna. And knowing about how they live, I know Mr. Mime had four fingers. And now has five. I have stuff that I feel like would be useful at Trivia Night, but I just haven't had it be useful. Probably, hang on. Didn't I get a music player? That's a rice cooker. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why am I- I'm, I seem to be getting everything blue. Well, you know, I'll, I'll just put it in, directly in front of my bed, that's fine. Next time I play, I'll, I'll have music for this. Okay. 
No, you got a small axe plus your birthday last month. How big is it? Is it one of those ones? What are those things called? But I got my niece a Pikachu, like, and it's super soft. Damn it. So bad with names. Squish Mallow? I think that's what they're called. I may have said the wrong thing. Not a Squish Mallow, okay. Down across the D-pad. Same size. Okay. Gotcha. I've seen some gigantic ones and... I mean, I'm sure you could get, like, a bean bag or something that's just not... The small axe one would be tempting. Just have it in the corner here. Gonna, I'm gonna sit down for a meal. Just... Why need plates for? Just eat it directly out of the rice cooker and toaster. Oh, no, I have I have no room here. This room is tiny. Eating straight out of the rice cooker, that's the new one. I bet someone does it. There's gonna be someone out there that eats directly out of the rice cooker. Just, once it's done, just unplugs it, sits down on the sofa, and just mixes in some soy sauce and throws in some other stuff in there. And then, bam, you got yourself like a rice, baby. Just sit down and watch Netflix with your rice cooker full of rice. I mean, we, we eat ice cream straight out of a tub without serving, do we not? People eat potato chips straight out of the bag, why not rice out of the rice cooker? What am I, what am I even saying? You know that I'm tired when I start speaking nonsense or just making strange noises. Fish, I think, is the other fish that's exclusive to the rain. I just need a big shadow. the seal account. Oh yeah, that thing. Wahoo! 
I spent 20 minutes getting bait, so... <laughs> this is probably as far as I'll take it. This time. I'm not entirely sure how much I'll put into this this time around. Second chance. You're having trouble finding the stringfish. It's a tricky one. It's probably like one of the first large fish I got. Come on, it's just a sea bass. Alright, three more. I've been checking if that Lord of the Rings Gollum game was going to get added to the PlayStation thing, because I, I cancelled my PlayStation subscription. It's just going to get stupidly expensive soon. So I got like another month or two of it before I don't have it anymore. Well, it's one freebie I would like to get out of it, just... For stream content, is just that golem game. It did, it did not look like a good game. <laughs> but if I'm not paying for it and I can install it and try it, then... I'll play it for a bit. Oh, that new? No, it's not. Alright, well, that's all. What's the word? What's the latest? I think I left my wristwatch at my place room. It's not like I used it much, but still. The river sea bass. I don't think I got anything new. Double check. Wake up, blathers. Still disappointed in that I can't wear the warrior. The warrior knows with this outfit, it would be perfect. I would just have to get the denim jacket and then the pink pants, and I could do the the warrior wear cosplay. But not allowed. Hate the bass, such a boner killer. <laughs> yeah, it sucks because that shadow, sometimes it can be good, but then 
<laughs> Most times, it's not. I'm stretching. Jeez. Okay. That is not my time. It is the PM instead of the AM. Okay. That will do it for New Horizons for today. I mean, just, I guess a bit of a setup day. It'll be a couple of days before the town center is done. But once that's done, then I can start making more of a, an effort to uh, do decorations and thinking about the layout of the town better. Because I think at that point I can buy the pro designer thing and then I can worry about it. So, all right. Well, I'm not done with the stream yet. I'm going to do some Pokemon Red for the rest of the evening, just for a bit before bed. But this is the part where I'll say if you're watching this later on YouTube as a VOD replay thing, uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, just remember to clickety click buttons, particularly the ones that have thumbs up. It does help the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. Appreciate it a lot. And if you're waiting around in the meantime, you can check out maybe one of the two videos that have popped up on your screen. I don't know if I remember to do that, but if I did, click. <laughs> Until next time, bye YouTube.